to read a couple of verses for you from the gospel. When Jesus arrived at the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, he, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother Lazarus. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him. Well, Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall they live. And every man, whoever lives and believes in me, will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, Son of God, the one coming into the world. And Mary came where Jesus was and saw him. She knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. So Jesus uh, hears that Lazarus is ill. Lord, the one whom you love is ill. That's how this story begins. And the disciples tell, tell them. And uh, the message is sent by the sisters, Mary and Martha. Uh, Mary and Martha were friends, and Lazarus were, were friends of Jesus. He would go there. He has a famous visit with Mary and Martha one time. And Martha's busy doing stuff, and Mary's sitting, and the whole conversation. So some of you remember that one. Well, anyway, that was a place of uh, it was a place where Jesus could go to kind of get away. It was two miles outside of Jerusalem, so it's close to close by, but it would be like the equivalent of the suburbs now in Minneapolis. You know, you're, you're close enough, but you're not in the city. You're, you're out, out of ways. And it was a place to, to get away from. And so he would go there on. They were friends. Lord, whom you love is ill. And this is a reality of our lives of faith. That even though we are loved by Jesus, we can get sick. How many of you got sick this year? Anyone? Yeah, I did a couple times. I got kicked off an Alaskan cruise because I got cold. It's okay. We were only planning it for about 20 years. My wife took it harder than I did. Uh, well, even though we're loved by Jesus, it doesn't keep us from getting sick. And it doesn't keep us from dying. Those who are loved by Jesus can and do get sick and they do die. But Jesus says uh, this, this illness is not unto death. Uh, he's sleeping. And the said, what do you mean he's sleeping? Well, then he's, well, wake up. Well, okay, he's dead. But we're going to go to him. Uh, he's to show everyone the power of that he has, and the power of God. Uh, John's Gospel is written many years later than other, the other Gospels. Most of the Gospel writers wrote theirs around, oh, 45, the earliest Mark. Mark's Gospel is first around 45. Year lower, year lower, 45. Jesus died around 30, so even the, the earliest one was 15 years after Jesus died, it was later. And uh, Luke and Matthew uh, were about five or 10 years later. John was written in 90, from 90, some 60 years after the death and resurrection of Jesus. So a lot of things have happened. And so John likes to think, okay, what do I, what do I need to put in that the others, I don't need to repeat what they said. You know, I'm not going to just copy everything. He, so he, he said, well, Luke's, Luke's Christmas story is the best in the world. Everyone reads that at Christmas Eve point anyway. I don't need a first story. <laughs> and he doesn't have one. Unless you count the beginning where it says, in the beginning was the word, okay. But he doesn't have the infancy, he doesn't have Jesus as a small kid at all. Um, 
He doesn't have uh, Jesus as a boy. Uh, but he has this story. In fact, he had the last four stories in the last four Sundays. Healing the blind man, Mary and Martha, that kind of thing. And uh, it, was, it was this Samaritan woman. Uh, and, uh, and this one. None of the other Gospels have that. None of the other ones. They don't have the raising of Lazarus. They don't have the healing of the blind man. They have, there's healing stories, but not like it was with this long conversation. And they don't have the woman at the well. Uh, what's it all about? Why is John including these? Well, he wants to he wants to tell people that uh, there's a lot of stories that I could have wrote. He says this in, his, in the Bible. There's a lot of things I could do, and uh, but I'm writing these so that you may know that Jesus is the Messiah. That believing in Him, you may have life in His name. And so this is in there. Now, it's interesting, he said that Jesus arrived and found that Lazarus had been in the tomb four days. It was a common belief. It was not written in the Bible, but it was a common uh, tradition or, you know, rumor that just, that became the, the just everyone believed it, okay? That, it, that when a person dies, their spirit hovered around that person for three days. And then after that, it's gone. So there's, there's a chance that the person might recover or come back to life. Uh, but after three, there's no, it's gone. It's just no hope. And so he's been dead four days. So now there, there's no question that he's all dead, not, not mostly dead. It was a miracle match. So. And because of that, the reality of death has sunk in. I've used this picture before, and it's one of my favorites, because, uh, I don't know, you can't really tell, it's a little harder to tell back there, but Lazarus has a different shade to his face. Can you guess what color that would be? If you feel sick, and what do you say to someone? The green, you does look a little green in the gills there, you know? The first time I smoked a cigarette when my fourth grade in the dirt hills in Albert Lee, Minnesota, we took the we took the butts out of my friend's dad's Mustang. It was a bronze-colored Mustang, and his dad smoked cigarettes. He worked at the Chevy dealership, and so it was full of butts. Not all, and some of them were short. You know, had a little bit of a. We thought, well, we don't even have to buy them. <laughs> It only cost 25 cents a pack. Well, anyway, we all tried it, and we were puffing, and my friend goes, you don't puff it, you gotta inhale. I'm like, okay, fine. Like, and I turned as green as that guy. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, stick a stick in the uh, uh, green, turn green. Uh, and there's a guy in the yellow, the yellow shirt here, right? He's, he's, he's got the yellow, he's got the blue pants, the black socks, red underwear, and then the, the yellow tunic. What's he doing with his tunic? He's covering his mouth and nose. Because Martha said, Lord, don't, don't go. You don't need, you don't need to go there. You don't need to go there. Uh, already, already, there's going to be a stench because he's been dead for four days. My favorite uh, translation of this, and uh, Sa uh, Sally quoted it to me when she thought there was a dead mouse in the in the kitchen. The King James says, "Lord, do not go there. He stinketh. <laughs> he stinketh. I love that. He stinketh." Uh, it's that bad. It's that bad. So of all the physical evidences that, that we would say, what are you even doing there? Why don't you just stay? Don't, don't, why are you opening the wound? Why are you reminding him that he's thinking? I mean, he is dead. Everyone knows it. All the friends are there to mourn with Mary and Martha. And they said, well, you should have been here. You wouldn't have died if you were here. Yeah, that's true. But he delayed. 
all the evidence points to hopelessness. There's no chance. That there's, he's, his flesh is decaying. It's, it's that bad. Um, they're covering their noses. They, they're not quite sure what's going on. Uh, Martha there, who's standing, Mary's at her feet, at Jesus' feet there, Mary in the red. All she can do is say, she just says, Lord, you, you should have been here. If you were if you were here, my brother would not have died. And that, that's all that's all that she can say. Martha has a conversation more and more so. But she's holding up her hand. See that? Lord, he's it's been four days. He's stink, he's stinking. It is it's it's a stench. And his friends are going, uh-huh. <laughs> But this is where John wants to remind us that death doesn't have the last word. Uh, Jesus has the last word. Even when all the evidence points to failure and win on the fact of death. Even though it's corrupting and dissolving, you know, decaying the flesh, even though it stinks, it's that bad. Uh, it doesn't have the win. Jesus has the win. And he says, Lazarus. He says, Lazarus, come out. And he comes out. He comes out. He says, unbind him and let him go. See how he's wrapped up? That's how they did it back then. They would wrap you up like this. And for a year, you'd be in the grave or in the cave or whatever. There's a stone there often. And then a year later, they'd unwrap you because you, you just have the bones left by then. And then they put the bones in a smaller spot, in a smaller uh, box, they call it, an ossuary, they call it. If you're rich, it'd be made of carvings and, or marble or something like that, or very fine wood, most of the time in just a box. And then that's, that would be where you would stay until the resurrection. But he doesn't stay there because Lazarus comes out. He says, Lazarus, come out, come out. One of my uh, my Bible teachers, uh, Herb Lodix, the late Herb Lodix, said, uh, "Why did he say? Why did he say Lazarus? Why didn't he just say you're in the grave? Come out?" He said, "Well, then everybody that was dead would have came out." <laughs> he had to be very specific because he is that powerful, um, and he does. John includes this to remind us. Again, even though all the evidence points to failure and the end, Jesus is life, the resurrection, and the life. For Lazarus, and uh, for you, and for me, uh, these flowers were for Ron Vieter, just on last Friday. For him too, all those who have died, through the resurrection and the life. Amen. Let's uh, stand, and let's see. Uh,